What is up everyone? I'm Jeff Teague, Raleigh, North Carolina. It's an absolute beautiful day here to just be out at the park, but also to see how this one drives. This is the Audi A3 Quattro all-wheel drive system. This is Manhattan gray metallic. Absolutely gorgeous. I've done a review video where I did all the buttons, controls, dials, features, a full walk around. We've got that on Auto Jeff Reviews, but this is gonna be about how it drives. We've got some country roads we've tested it out on, some highway, so you get the big picture. Stunning, my friends, stunning. We'll wanna show off these 18 inch wheels. Look at the metallic, the gray metallic in there, it's beautiful, and these are 225 40R18 all season tires. I like that it's got sensors around the front and around the back so that you can use that park assist. Really handy, really impressive. Now look here, we've got a net, so that's an accessory that you could put in there, just kind of hold down your groceries. Got a 12 volt circular, holds my microphones, my cameras, and the spec sheet there. And then underneath here, we've got a spare tire. We're gonna get our interior look, so we're gonna just get a feel for what the interior looks like because on the test drive, we want to know how it drives. But first, we've got to see how it looks with the memory seating, the four-way lumbar, the leather wrapped steering wheel, the beautiful display, how much room is in the back. It's actually got a good amount of leg room here, and I do like, let me show this here because we're not going to have backseat passengers on a drive. Look at this, it's got knee cutouts so that you can position your legs, if you've got longer legs there. Got USBs, lots of rear controls there. Ooh, and then we've got this, whoa! Nice, squishy, lots of cup holders. Yeah, me likey. Now look on in here, I wanna show you one of my favorite features of the car. Ooh, lumbar support for passenger, like that. But look here. The sunroof is closed. Wait, or is it? Because, look at this, you can have it open, but you've got this shade that's ventilated, so you can actually see outside. You can get air in, but it keeps it darker, which I like. It keeps it cooler, which I like. Limits some of the wind, but you still feel the fresh air coming in. That's really nice. Boy, look at that premium inlay. It's beautiful. Quattro, they really want you to know that this is the all-wheel drive system. Here's the backup camera here. It's really sharp picture. It's actually looking really nice. And then the parking sensors right here can guide you, let you know if you're getting too close to something. Push button. And then electronic parking brake that holds a parking pass. Here's how you turn the radio on and off. You use this for sound on, sound off, but then you spin it like this to get more or less volume. There's a 31.9. I think on my test drive I was at 32.0. This one's kind of a fun one for me because it starts at 35,900, which is an excellent value for the Quattro all-wheel drive system but it has several different option packages that add the safety. They add a lot of technology, the Bang & Olufsen system, so it has that 3D sound. So a lot of different packages. So it goes from 35,900 and it's just over 44,000 with delivery, et cetera, et cetera. So how does it drive? What makes it drive? It's a 2.0 liter inline turbocharged four cylinder engine, whoop, whoop. 201 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. Matched with a seven-speed S-Tronic automatic transmission with paddle shifters. So you can drive it in dynamic S mode and get whew, a little bit more acceleration. Sounds better, you're more involved with the drive. Has the Quattro all-wheel drive system so that you get optimal traction. Now, one thing I know about media vehicles, and Audi USA was nice enough to let me evaluate this one for the last week or so, so I've gotten a really good feel. But I know about media cars, most reviewers are going to test it out, test its limits, just to see how's the acceleration. What's my zero to 60 time? We'll try to find that out for you. But the MPG, 
What are you gonna get as a daily driver? Well, posted on the window sticker, and I'll show you that at the end, 28 in the city, 36 on the highway, 31 combined. I've got long-term memory data right here on the beautiful digital display. So over 2,021 miles, this one has averaged 35 miles per hour, but 32.0 MPG. So that's pretty significant that over 2,000 miles, this one's getting better from media people than it actually was posted. That is an excellent sign for MPG. So if you're just an average conservative daily driver, you might get better. All right, let's see how it does here. Going around a highway on ramp. It holds the corners really nicely. This is a tighter part. So that was nice. The vehicle leaned into the curve, had total control. And to me, that was an excellent, excellent test. Now we do have different driving modes. You can push drive select down here and you have comfort mode, which I like doing. Auto, individual, and then you've got dynamic. Can even feel that kick in. Let's keep it in dynamic right now as we get on to a bigger highway. On the highway. Already up to 60. Very nice. This has a 6.6 .6 second zero to 60 time which is very respectable in this class it was nice so how are the seats well i think very comfortable actually they're a little bit on the i guess we could call it sportier or firmer side but there's a lot of padding good bolstering on the sides i think i feel the padding there it keeps me locked in place without keeping me locked in place and then the headrest here it's thick but it's not obnoxiously big where it pushes my head forward or anything like that. I like that it has lumbar support. I also like that it's power driver, power passenger seat. With highway driving, for me, the vehicle feels solid. It feels in control of the road. I hear a little bit of wind noise. I do hear that. And actually, you're probably on the camera gonna pick up a little bit more. It's not that loud of a vehicle. When I'm at my cruising speed right here, it's actually quite nice. But this is a small sedan. So how does it feel? Well, to me, it actually feels quite spacious. I like the visibility all the way around with the windows. And if I don't have backseat passengers, I would probably take off those headrests to open up that back window because the back window is a little slim, but it's still good visibility. Now here, I like this touch screen. I like it a lot actually, because you can just use it like a touch. You can look up Sirius XM by category. I can also just give the car voice commands to do what I want it to do. Hey Audi, heated seats. Which level should I set for you? Three. I am changing the seat heating to the maximum level three. Yes and it just came on. So we've got some winding country roads here. This is an excellent course to test out the precision, the agility, the handling. It just zooms through these streets. Country roads take me home. All right, here we go. We've got a little bit tighter turns. Yeah, it's nice, it's very precise, tight handling when you need it to. And then we've got some even tighter roads here. Yeah, that holds its ground real nicely. Shouldn't have any problem climbing a hill. And then as far as our turnaround, let's just see what it does here. Yeah, that's nice. Really nice turning circle there. That was tight. So if you're ever like with 
the Duke boys and the General Lee running from Boss Hog, Enos, Cooter, all that kind of stuff. Roscoe P. Coltrane. You can get away, make a quick U-turn, you're already out, get ready to jump the pond. So, let's test out our zero to 60. Ready, and go. 50, 60. Yeah, so my impression here is if you have to really slam on the accelerator pedal because you're in high speed pursuit or something like that, you just want to see what it can do, it can do it. You definitely hear the noise of the engine accelerating, so it's going to be almost um, dramatic. It's the most dramatic episode yet. It's like The Bachelor, but different. I think you'll be just fine. You'll be just fine getting onto a highway, pulling out into traffic. Now I actually had the last one in, let's see, we had that in comfort mode. Let's try this, we'll stay in dynamic mode. See what we can do, what we do. Yeah, that just cruises around the turns. So let's look at the window sticker. We're between a rock and a hard place here. Ooh. All right, so Audi A340 TFSA Quattro. It's the advanced all-wheel drive system. Manhattan gray metallic with Santos brown interior. Here we go with technical specs. Just feel free to look on your own. I'm trying to get it as close as possible, but it's a small spec sheet. So we got to do the best we can here. Look at all the safety features there. And then this one here starts at 35.9. Again, it has several different options, including the paint color, but the premium plus package, tech package, 18 inch wheel package with the five Y spoke design. And then the interior style, that beautiful wood inlays looks really nice. So we'll look over here. We'll look over here. Here's the fuel mileage. Remember, we're averaging 32.0 or 31.9, right in that range there. Over 2,000 miles on this vehicle. That's a pretty, pretty good long resume. Impressive. What do you think? 